This is insane. You're talking about killing someone. Shh, shh. Scott is one of our friends. I'm not gonna be a part of any plan to hurt him. Scott is hardly a friend. Then why do you hang out with him? Because he's my roommate. So, ask him to move out. That's a little harsh. What? Look, I look, I mean, she does have a point. This is a tad on the radical side. Thank you. But Jill has been racking her brain for months trying to find a solution to this problem. And this is how it's going down, okay? I'm here to love and support my girlfriend. And kill Scott. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Hev, it's gonna be super quick and easy. No witnesses, no trouble. Please. Are you in? Oh! Dude, Jill, I always forget how disgusting this car is. Brian, didn't your mom just die? Why don't you forward some of that inheritance though to your poverty-stricken girlfriend so she can stop looking like a vehicular food stamp? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm such an idiot. It's okay. Your mom was like super poor, wasn't she? Those shakes really only work if you replace a meal with them. Like, you can't eat the meal too. I'm in. What, are we starting a club? Who's ready to go camping? Me. So it's in the bug spray. It is the bug spray. My buddy at the shop hooked us up. This is the same stuff they use on wood when it's wet to start fires. Are you just gonna light a match and throw it on him then? What? No. I'm gonna take him for a stroll first, get him a little high before, you know, we... Oh, Jesus. Guys, I really don't think that I can be a part of this. Yeah. Dude, Brian, this stuff smells like Heather after she's walked upstairs. Just don't start a forest fire. I know, it's pretty rough, man, but once you get that on, bugs will be the least of your problems. <laughs> Got it. Yes. Are you sure you don't want to come smoky smoke? Jilly bean? <laughs> no. You boys, go ahead. I'll have a nice fire going by the time you get back. Okay, but this better not be another ploy to get me alone and experiment. What? Well, that's not really anything. For real. I just... You never told her about freshman year? <sighs> what about freshman year? It was just one night. I just let his wasted ass freak flag fly during a routine trip to Blackout City. Jill, it was no big deal. An average size deal at best. Okay, get out of here. I still love you, obviously. Yeah, okay. Scott, wait! I just wanted to say I love you and goodbye. Um, bye. I'll be back in like 10 minutes. No need to let's out. But I love you too. And you know, when I come back, I'm going to show you some super easy exercises you can do to really tighten up all this extra fat you have on your back. And you can do them anywhere, even when you're just sitting around eating donuts. I don't eat donuts anymore, Scott. Bitch, you have Krispy Kreme on speed dial. No, I don't. I... Bye! <gasps> Man, I've had my fair share of community service hours to fulfill, but this Jewish hospice they have me at has got to be the worst. This will do. She realize how small we all are. Except for Heather. She probably just realizes how normal size she is. The honors? Sure. And before I get stoned and really fag out, I just want to say, I think you're a great guy. Oh, thanks. Yeah. You're really something too. And it's like, how you've been there for Jill all these years, you know, through the weight gain, the undefendable adult acne, the sleep fart. Yeah, Jill's great, and I would do anything for her. You know what? To Jill. To Jill. 
And it's like you see the back hair thickening on her and you still find her attractive. Are you gonna take the fucking hit? Yeah. Ugh. Did you use the buck spray I gave you? Yeah, right. That shit smelled like your dead mom's ex-boyfriend. I switched sprays with gel. <laughs> this weed is awful! You trying to kill me or something? Oh, oh, oh my god! Hey, hey, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Literally, all of my visible body hair was just melted away. And as you know, there was a lot of it. I'm so sorry. I didn't know he was going to switch the bug sprays. How could you not see this coming? I didn't think he was that smart. Oh, thank God. You finally told him about your hookup with Jimmy from the corner store. That secret was killing me. <sighs> Slow, Jimmy? The bag boy? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All of this is being taken completely out of context. And I will explain it to you as soon as I get back. Hey, Scott. Let's do some stargazing. What's stargazing? Is that a drug? What's it do to you? Oh, Heath Bar. You should come with. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, it looks like we're headed uphill, and even a five-minute walk at a 45-degree angle could really burn some hot dogs off those glutes. Get out of here. Hey, Heather. Don't eat all the food. I'm not fat! I'm not fat! Really is peaceful out here, huh? Uh-huh. It's crazy not having cell phones, checking Facebook, Instagramming tweets. Yep. It helps you zone in on what's really important. How are you doing? You seem so stressed. I'm fine. Because if you need someone to talk to, I'm always here, you know? You're my best friend. It's just that you drive me crazy sometimes. Most times. You're so mean and crass and self-involved and I just don't know how to talk to you anymore known each other for so long and I can't imagine my life without you, but things have got to change or I will remove you from it. Jill, I am so sorry. I did not catch a word of that. Your face looks ridiculous. Also, I was wrong. That was some very good weed. I'm surprised your poor boyfriend could afford it. Bye, Scott. Bye, Scott. More like bye, Brian. <laughs> Get it? Because he's gay. Where'd you... What are you doing? Can we go on board? Ooh, watch out for that snake. Uh, he found you. Okay. Okay. Come on. What happened? He's indestructible. He's a fucking Twinkie. Guys, tonight has opened my eyes to a lot of stuff, and I'm really beginning to think that you two are dangerous for each other. And me. I mean, the affairs, Brian's gay stuff. It's just, it's poison. And I don't think I can be an accomplice to it anymore. So tonight, I'm putting in my 30-day notice. I just think it's safer for all of us if we don't live together anymore. God, it feels good to get that off my chest. Now, have either of you seen Heather? I may have slept with her stepdad. What? Is she eating again? <laughs> you son of a bitch. Yeah. You ripped the tent? What do you have frogs in here? <laughs> oh. Oh. My God. What happened? You're my best friend, you know? 
fuck. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just gonna do the face. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, aren't we t starting with your thing? What line? Oh, I don't know where we're starting from. From the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> You're my best friend, you know? I cannot remember my first line. It's just that you oh, drive God, me- Oh, thank you. I'm so sorry. So I'm like slipping into this. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm Break sorry. The then I'm down. Man, the moon's really big. Makes you realize- Are we still rolling? <laughs> All right.